Good evening. This is Chris Emanuel of MMA UK, and I'm here with the Dagestani Demon, the Mancunian Mauler, the future star of the global 125 and 135 divisions, Mohamed Makayev. How are you, my friend? Hello, Chris. Uh, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. Just made way to come back home, ready to go on Saturday night. Made weight already. That's absolutely super, mate. You're a little bit early, but yeah. still, it's better to be on weight than scrabbling to try and make weight at the last minute, isn't it, I suppose? Yes, so, yeah. well, that's a good thing, good way to, to segue straight into to us talking about what's going on with you. So, how stressful a week has it been for you? You were, you were due to fight uh, John James, first of all, and then... Um, no, Jordan friend... Baxter. John... Oh, so, but then that, I thought you had John James first and then Jordan second. No, uh, Jordan, uh, I mean, um, Kieran Mulholland is supposed to fight and Jen, John James pulled out. Ah, gotcha. Mike, Mike, okay. And Jordan Baxter pulled out, so we matched with the... Well, well, Jordan pulled, yeah, Jordan pulled out only, what, two days ago, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, he did, yeah. It's just absolutely gutting because on paper, that was going to be one of the fights of the year, surely. You know, you two are certainly stars of the division. And... Yeah. Uh, Stars of the amateur, stars of the amateur scene. So, um, so Kieran stepped up to, uh, yeah, to take the Kieran challenge. Up, yeah, I, I, I like this guy. Got got some spirit. I like. <laughs> well, he's so, crazy. He's like Donald Cerrone, you know, the crazy guy who doesn't. He, he was preparing to the fight anyway, so he, he wasn't like late notice. He he was he, he was going to the to the he, he did camp before this is uh, 23rd so he's ready to fight so it's not like late notice for him no late notice for me so we both like actually in the camp was in the camp so how how does it feel down to prepare for a different opponent has that changed the game plan at all not really you know it's like i must remember when i did i must you know i must even if it's different you like you know your opponent like half an hour before the fight so i must you know your opponent half an hour here you got like nearly two days <laughs> feels like so a lifetime then surely yeah if you do I'm up, you're ready for your opponent even on a day so if, if you go through the I'm up tournaments I think this like I, like I said last time is next level uh, experience for amateur fighter real so what, so what do you know about Kieran Kieran he was in Bahrain as well uh, he was fighting 57 mm-hmm. he, he beat uh, Finland and he lost to Ukraine because I was watching that division I remember this he lost to Ukraine by decision and beat Finland by Finland by split decision. So it was he, his takedown defense is very weak. He's striking okay, you know. His takedowns, you know, depends how you're gonna react. I know he's gonna wait for takedowns, but if you're gonna stop one takedown, then another five gonna come. So I don't think he'll be able to stop this. <laughs> So realistically, the, the opponent needs to change their strategy for you rather than vice versa, because we we, we all know what you're going to do. You're you're a wrestler at heart. You're going to grab hold of yeah. someone. You're going to maul them. You're going to take them down. Hundred percent. I'm gonna I'm gonna take him down and I smash him on the ground. <laughs> so, okay. After this win, then who's next for you? Wow. There's been a few names that have been thrown about, actually. One name that was put to me earlier it was uh, uh, Louis Lee Scott, who's another person who's out at IMAF as well. I, I I won't fight this guy. I'll, uh, I'm 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 very very good with this guy. I was in Bahrain with this guy. I trained with this guy. You know his coach Danny Mitchell cornered me four fights in Bahrain, looking after me. And if if there's if the, if if he needs this title, I give it to him. I won't fight this guy. I won't fight. If if there's need to fight, we fight in the gym. You know, but we we spar together like. Um, I won't fight this guy. If he need the title, I give it to him. I say, for you, this brother, you know, that's it. You know, he, he's very close to me. Oh, that's awesome. Well, speaking of that, you, you spoke uh, quite candidly about loyalty recently. I've watched the um, uh, the documentary that was done by uh, Let's Talk MMA yeah. on you, which has came out on YouTube. And uh, you talk a lot about how your religion is important to you, about yeah. how family is, is vital to you. Uh, and how um, you, if you have an affinity to someone, you have that loyalty. Um, can you, do you see that as, as something that that runs through UK MMA, or is it something which is just unique to to you and your your fr- group of friends? I, I think I think loyalty is 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 is. Oh, you can see me, yeah. I can see lo- you. Yeah. Lo- loyalty is is 
should be in the team, should be in the, in the family and, and religion. You know, I, I was talking about religion, maybe on the video you can't hear properly, but like a little bit this breakdown. But I, I was I was saying if if you know close with the God who created you and uh, if you're not loyal to the, you know, God, it doesn't matter who you believe, what God, what religion you are. If, it, if you're not close with him, how can you be, how can other people be close to you that, how can other people be loyal to you, to you? No, how you can be loyal to other people. So, so if if he doesn't, lo if that person not loyal with the God that he created him, and he's not loyal with parents who created this kid, also, so how he can be loyal to like your fr to a friend or to your, to even if you feel like a team, you know, it's like yeah, at least at least you have to be very. I, I look, you know, whoever I speak to pe people. I ask like my question, one of the how how you how you do how do you live with your parents? You know, this is a question for me. Come up if I don't see him as a religious. If I see him religious guy, that means he looking after his parents. That's my opinion. You know, the family comes first, and the loyalty, the loyalty. That's where it's loyalty. It's all together. I believe. I love that. I love that, and it's a it's a strong belief to have with someone so young as well. Because normally, at 18 years old, people are. Living a very different life to the life that you live, you know, they're not traveling two hours a day to Liverpool and two hours back from Liverpool just to train yeah. at Aspire with uh, with Dean Garnett and the guys. So yeah. that's on top of the training that you're doing in Manchester with your with Coach Oleg, the wrestling coach as well. So yeah. um, you moved to Manchester quite recently, didn't you? Um, yeah, not long, about eight months now here. OK, um, so why did you choose to live in Manchester if you're you're training in Liverpool predominantly? What was it? Do you know, I, I was living in Wigan for six years, with my dad still lives there, and uh, I, I go to see him sometimes in, 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 in Wigan, you know, but Manchester for me, because I used to come, I used to go to Liverpool in the morning, and night time I train in Manchester, so I set off from my house in Wigan about seven o'clock, and I come back about half ten at night time, so... Sometimes I sleep in the gym in Manchester before the training starts in between training. So I was thinking uh, I live here about 10 minutes from wrestling academy. So I, it, it takes a long time to get to Liverpool. But now uh, uh, my, my sponsors, Twins, they're sorting out with, with brand new car. To Brilliant. Fill the new form. So Twins looking after me good. That is absolutely it'd brilliant. It'd be easier. It'd be easier now. So tell us about your training at Aspire. Um, obviously, you're surrounded by killers there. And with Coach Dean Garnett, who's been there and done it as well, it's, it's, a, it's a hell of a resume that those guys have got there. How do you fit in? Yeah, I feel good. I feel good. There's a lot of guys my weight. Also, you know, Dean, Aaron, Aaron Robinson, um, Marlon and Lee McCracken, you know, there's all, a, a lot of fighters there. We have great sparring with these guys. They help me. I help them. So we be like a team, team family, you know. It's like it's, it's everybody help each other. I, I I learn, they learn. So everybody help each other. Good, good gym, good team. Well, so turning pro, we're still there. Uh, we're still some way off. I'm, I'm guessing. About pro? Mm. Yeah. You know, I was thinking. I know a couple guys in bantamweight division at the top. They're going to pro soon. So. I was thinking, you know, it's like now I was thinking maybe another two years of how much a little bit. I was thinking maybe go pro soon. But, but uh, I planned out the Europeans, European Championships, IMFs I'm going to. And Sat in Rome? In Rome, Italy. Yeah. And also I'm going to Bahrain for this year, uh, World Championship. So this is my also was thinking to do next year I'm up for I will I will see now see, see how you feel mm. <laughs> so with the uh, UFC being your um, ultimate goal how the the position that they put the 125 dis, uh, division in where they've talked about shutting it down although they still have the 125 champion they still have some 125 fighters is that still going to be your ultimate aim or are you looking at other organizations as potential homes or are you even looking at bantamweight? No, no, I'm looking bantamweight. That's why I'm doing IMOS. I, I, I try to do it this way. I, I try to do, do, do this way at I'm uh, at UKC. I'm trying to work out bantamweight now, so I get ready uh, slowly. 
for the bantamweight. If not, if you should remove 125, I'm ready for do 135, uh, 145. You're gonna go to 145 as well. I, I, I can't do you know. I, I, I'm 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 big. I'm big flyweight and I'm big bantamweight. Also, I'm walking about over 70 kilogram. Wow. Okay. So, if we're going to talk about bantamweights, and before I let you go, I want your thoughts on the um, doping scandal that's hit the bantamweight division this this week. What are your thoughts on TJ Dillashaw? Innocent? Guilty? Uh, I, I I don't know. I don't know. You Come know. on, don't do this to me, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, 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 this this guy is. I'm I'm not even near his level at the moment. I can I can say he's he's maybe he had some substance, maybe CBD, maybe something. Before I, I don't know what he take. I cannot blame this guy because this this guy is real real champion. He is a champion, you know. I can't talk bad about this guy because I don't know what's going on. I'm I'm not you sad. You sad to promote themselves. You know why? Because about the, you know, um, what what John Jones what they found. The, the pictograms. Pictograms. You know, it's like I don't think they found something. They just promote that the biggest. Uh, biggest uh, agency, doping agency in the world, so they have something. But I don't think that they can do it so much, like pictograms and stuff like this. I, I don't believe this. They just promote themselves. So who do you think is going to take the one one thirty five belt in TJ's absence? Well, well, maybe Henry or Cody. Okay, that'd be an interesting fight actually putting those two together. Yeah. I like the look of that. There's a lot of people who are petitioning for it at the moment. But yeah, uh, yeah I certainly think that would be an interesting fight. So coming back to you then to close off this interview. Saturday, you are fighting uh, at the Guildhall in Preston on UK Fighting Championships 9. Um, yeah. How do you see the fight finishing? How quickly? Call it for me. What do you reckon? I'm preparing for five rounds. Oh, you know, if there's a three rounds, I'm preparing for three rounds. If there's a five rounds, I'm preparing for five rounds. So... I'm ready to all five rounds, you know, play play with this guy and and smash on him on the ground on stand up. Like uh, he gonna get gas. Five rounds, nobody, nobody in UK ready to do four rounds of me, even three rounds or five rounds because I'm a wrestler. If there's a if if there's a wrestler comes to the cage with me, then he he won't be able to strike with me and grapple with me. And so I'm like head above amateur level in UK at the moment. I believe this. If but there's there's a god that for plans already written that's go- what gonna happen. Maybe I walk to the cage, trip up, snap my leg, and I go to lose. It's 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 anything can can happen. But I'm I'm ready to do all five rounds. I run every morning, every every day, two times training, and this, I never smoke and never drank in my life. I know these guys did before. Some people maybe smoke. With some people drink 100%. Some people in in this division drunk. Not some people in in top top 10. I know they drunk. One time you drunk, it means like you know focused in, in the game. I'm the focus. I'm hungry, hungry, coming crazy. <laughs> so your your opportunity now before we finish off to to thank your sponsors. You mentioned one sponsor, Twins, who are very kindly providing you with the car, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Hit me up with them. Who else would you like to thank? Pitbull, Pitbull West Coast with the gear, Save Joe's with the Goom Shield, King Nutrition, Bod- King Nutrition with supplements, Bossu Body Bar, like, help me with the with the meals every day, like, three meals a day. Uh, Yanis, the nutritioner, he helped me a lot, you know. Uh, Woody, he helped me with strength and condition, you know, the Woody from the from uh, Tiger Muay Thai, strength and condition mm-hmm. coach. Yeah. He, he helped me with the Help me with all all the program, and I, I would like to thank all all these guys that are supporting me a lot. BGJ twenty four seven also, we're going all the way strong together. Looking forward to seeing it as well. Yeah, Mo, thank you as always for your time. I appreciate thank it. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you. Especially considering you know you're so close to the fight. So good luck. Well, I'm not going to say good luck. Good luck. Luck for other people. So enjoy your fight on Saturday. I look forward to speaking to you after you picked up your belt. Hello, hello. Oh, look. oh, can you hear me? Just um, broke. Typical. I just closed enough. I said, uh, luck's for other people, not for you. So, um, yeah. enjoy your fight on Saturday, and I look forward to speaking to you after you pick up your belt. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you. I'll speak to you soon.
Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Thanks, bye, Mo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.